I'm Louise from Soroma Tractors. Hi, I'm Helen from Soroma Tractors. Today we're going to talk about the differences between a flail mower and a topper. So I've got here a heavy duty Soroma flail mower, which is primarily used for cutting rough areas of ground. Whereas this topper here is used for keeping paddocks neat and tidy. The flail mower has a lot of heavy duty hammers on a horizontal rotor. So this allows it to cut the grass up really short and in really small lengths. Whereas the topper has one rotor and two um, swinging blades. So what that does is exactly as the name suggests, it tops that top layer of um, grass. Um, so if the animals have been grazing and obviously left uneven patches, the topper here will just level it off and make everything even. So for instance, if the animals haven't eaten the thistles, you can just go over and absolutely, your thistles yeah, absolutely, without cutting the actual grass that they're eating. Yeah, quite right. So what it will do, as you can see from the videos that we've done and the lands that we've already topped, it will work through thistles, um, nettles anything and any of that really kind of rough land it will all also cut really easily fantastic so the flail mower will cut it up really finely so this is a bit we did earlier so you can see how the grass is really really short and like um, mulches it up yeah like almost pulverizes it so it's really going to seep away into the into the ground whereas the topper will cut things much longer and it will leave much much longer lengths because it doesn't do that second layer of mulching, it actually just, just tops, the, tops the top layer off. So a couple of um, great features about the Soroma Heavy Duty Flail Mower. Um, it has a roller on the back, so that allows it to go over undulating ground. Um, and also with its compact size, that allows it to really hug the ground. So if you've got lots of hills or bumps, then that really flows over them nicely, make sure it cuts every little bit. Whereas a great feature on the toppers here is that you can have a four cutting height option. So using the skids down here, you're able to choose how long or how short you are wanting to top that grass. So again, if you are wanting to go really low to the ground, you're able to do that. Whereas if for, for grazing purposes, you just wanted to take that top layer off, then again, you can choose the, the layer that you're wanting to. We've also got on this um, flail mower an opening back, which again all the heavy duty Soroma flail mowers have. So this has got four settings on it. The first one is completely closed. So if you were doing say a lawn type area and short grass, that allows you to keep the grass inside the mower. So it gets lots of turns at cutting, gets it really nice and short. And also if it's kept inside, the roller then rolls that grass into the ground. If you've got long um, grass like this, I mean the grass we've been cutting here and then is nearly as tall as we are, um, then you can open it and there's three different settings for, the, for how um, open you can have the back and that allows it to fly out straight away so it saves it clumping up inside the mower. And this one we've got set on its highest level at the moment because the grass here is really thick and hasn't been cut in, in such a long time. A feature of the toppers as well is you can have, by changing your headstock, you can have it covering a wheel or you can have it more offset. Yeah, we can do that on the flail mowers as well. On the flail mowers it's done by the hydraulics. So you get two hydraulic pipes which go to the double acting stall valve on your tractor and then that's going to be offset against the wheel which is great for if you're trying to get into hedgerows or if you've got an orchard say and you want to get close up to your trees you can really um, get in tight to places. We have a similar function on the topper here so you can see this curve has been specifically designed so that you can get really close around the corners so depending on the kind of finish that you're wanting and the kind of land that you've got this machine is going to be able to work around the corners of, of your land. In terms of maintenance of the flail mower, um, 
slightly more maintenance than on a chopper. However, we do try and keep it simple. So on the belt here, they have an automatic belt tensioner, which is sprung loaded. So that means that your belts will last longer, they'll wear less, and you don't ever have to keep your eye on those, that tension, it will do it all for you. There's also two covers here for grease nipples, and they are also grease nipples at the end of the roaster and the roller. So the maintenance on the topper is um, really simple. This is a classic piece of machinery, um, really um, classic engineering. So you've got the, um, the galvanized and the head here that's easy to wipe down. Um, the blades can be replaced if you need to, um, but this is just a really easily maintained piece, piece of equipment. Yeah, I think the only thing really on your topper is your gearbox oil, yeah. which obviously I forgot to mention on the clown there as well, needs checking occasionally and topping up just the standard 89 gear oil goes in those. Um, the PTO shafts uh, also have grease nipples on for greasing. The clown are just in standard. PTO shaft with it, whereas the topper PTO shaft is um, Sherbolt PTO shaft. So when it comes to uh, another big advantage that I think of the topper is the speed that you can work to. So if you push for time, as most of us are, and you're needing to do a quick job, you can move a lot quicker with the topper than you can a flail mower. Um, you're not needing as much power to power this machine. This is due to the blades on it. So once that blade is moving, you're working with that momentum. Um, so you don't need an awful lot of power to keep that moving. So again, if you're wanting to work quickly, um, this is the machine that, that I would use. Yeah, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Um, so you prefer the, prefer the topper? Yeah, I would, I would prefer to work quickly and I would, yeah, definitely. I like the way that it distributes the longer grass so it can just break down. Um, but obviously to mulch it if you're needing to uh, put that back into the ground, I think it's also a good way of working. My preference is always the, the flail mower because um, I like the way that it's so versatile. It can go from bracken right down to your lawn. Um, but they do tend to be slightly more expensive than the toppers. Um, and as you say, they do need more horsepower uh, for the size of mower. But I love the way that they um, they really mulch the grass down into, into tiny pieces. Um, so for me, it would always be a, be a flail mower. It really depends on the kind of work you're wanting to do and the, the kind of finish you want. But here at Saroma, we've got a piece of equipment for everybody's needs and everybody's land. So I would just encourage everybody to have a look on the website, which is saroma.online. Uh, there's something there for everybody. Yeah, so hopefully we've given you enough information to make a decision about which mower is right for you and your tractor and your land. So we're going to give them a go now and show some videos of us actually actually using the machine. Yeah, let's get topping.